Good morning, babies. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. Uh, yesterday, I drove uh, to Yermo, California to go to Thrift and More. Uh, and uh, I had a really, really nice day. I loved the little road trip. And uh, on the way back, I saw a sign for something called Seven Magic Mountains, and I had never heard of them before. And so I figured, you know what? Um, I'm gonna do a little Google search. And so today, I'm doing another little mini road trip. Um, I'll show you the view. It's another spectacular day here. Um, yesterday, I was traveling along the highway that's to the right of me right now. Uh, and uh, I think I've got two more miles, I think, before I get to uh, the Magic Mountain parking area. What's that sign there? Hmm. I see it. I see it. Oh, what a beautiful day. Um, on the left-hand side, do you see those little blobs of color? Yep, that's Seven Magic Mountains. Uh, it was a uh, an art exhibit, like a public art exhibit out here in the desert uh, that was only supposed to be up for two years, but since it's been so popular, uh, they have left it up. Uh, and I'm not sure if they're maintaining it at all, but uh, I'm super excited. It doesn't look very busy here, which is good. Oh, some very wise person has a taco truck up there. That's great. All right. Oh, sorry for the bumpy sidewalk. The, the uh, parking area. I guess this is open 24 hours. Which is kind of wild. Who would want to come out here at that hour? All right. Barbed wire. Okay. Let's see. Ugo Randastone. Seven Magic Mountains. Uh, meditating between geological formations and abstract compositions, Rhonda's own Seven Magic Mountains consists of locally sourced limestone boulders stacked vertically in groups ranging from three to six. They're painted fluorescently. You can read that if you want to. Pause that and read it. <laughs> Please use designated paths. Okay. Is that they, what that is? Yeah. Oh, yes. No, well, it's open 24 hours, you know, so all sorts of yeah. hooligans come out here, I'm sure. Gunshots. Yeah, look, it went right through the metal. Huh. Awful. There you go. You too, you have a great day. All right. Seven Magic Mountains. Well, you're kind of seeing them from the shadow side of it. Let's go over here. Oh, that's better. How cool is that? <laughs> Don't I take you to the most amazing places? I know, I make other YouTubers jealous. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> that is really cool. All right, so I wonder, are they stacked? Is there some sort of rebar running through all the boulders? I wonder. But um, really neat. Do you guys want a picture together? Yeah, sure. Somebody made a little teeny stack of stones. I think it's kind of fun. This yellow one is just a couple inches taller than me, so I can sort of get an idea of the proportion. I'd like to come out here at sunset or something. It'd be kind of cool. I bet you it's very popular at that hour, though. Uh, it is 1219. I think I might check out that taco truck. Look who tagged along with me. It's not the elf on the shelf, it's the elf on a rock. Uh, oh, uh, how the hell did you get up there?
Hey guys, hi. So I'm having a wonderful time here. I've met some really fun people. This couple from, oh, what was his name? Chuck, Charlie, something of a C. Uh, he and his wife live in Wisconsin and they're thinking about uh, moving out here to Las Vegas and being snowbirds. And I totally encourage that. Uh, they were the people, I'm not sure if you overheard, I was talking to when I first walked up to the plaques outside. Um, someone had shot at them with bullets. But uh, really, really nice people. Met this super young couple from the UK, and uh, they're driving out to Death Valley uh, later on. Just really met some really fun people. And uh, the view, as you can see, is spectacular. The mountains behind the art installation here, all these fun people. And I look up and I see the sky has all these old contrails of different planes. There's actually one flying over right now. You can see right there. Oh, hello. Up on the shelf. Um, there's a plane flying right there, and <laughs> it's getting kind of emotional. Like, uh, loving my life right now, you know? Like, I kind of know what the flight attendants are doing on those planes right now. I'm kind of picturing what they're doing at this point in their flight, and I don't know. Does that sound silly? Yeah, probably. Probably very silly, but um, I'm just having a moment of gratitude out here by the Seven Magic Mountains. I'm definitely going to hit that taco truck and then head back into town. It's only one o'clock in the afternoon. I have no idea what I'm doing the rest of the day. Although what I should be doing is packing up some things that I sold on eBay. I sold a Romer Toff clay baker that I've had for a long time. <clears throat> I have no idea how I'm going to uh, ship that. What else sold? A little Fenton glass shoe. What else sold? Out of high plate. The oddest things are selling all of a sudden. But uh, yeah, I'll see you later on today. Uh, I'm home. Eleanor is using one of the three scratching pads I have over in front of the fireplace. I have to find more of those. The cats love them. Sometimes they sleep on them. Uh, but uh, yeah, I am back. Oh. <laughs> I just sat down on the chair, which means it's treat time. Who wants treats? Who wants treats? Yes, I know you do, buddy. There you go, Eleanor. Nom, 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 nom. She eats very fast, and she's usually pretty neat. Although sometimes she gets it on her blouse, <laughs> which is this furry part down here. Buddy, do you want some? Yeah? Yes, I know. And it might seem sort of strange that I feed my cats their treats like this, but this is how they've always gotten them. Back when I was teaching them their names, this was a very useful tool. Uh, I would say their name between nibbles, and it seemed to work. But he is being particularly neat today. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's my baby. There's my baby. Sometimes he behaves as if he hates me, but mm, I know he loves me. Right? Right? This is a little cat pillow I got at Goodwill. Love this thing. Yes, honey. Yes, baby. Hey, guys. All right, so it is 5.13 in the afternoon, and I really have no business talking to you right now because um, I was just thinking how lightheaded I feel, and it's because I ate a peanut butter and raspberry preserve sandwich about 10 o'clock this morning. And that's it. I thought I would grab something on the way to Seven Magic Mountains, but honestly, I was there so fast. It's such a quick drive. Um, I was kind of already there. And that taco truck that I saw, well, they only sold ice cream and fruit that had like, it was cut up fruit that's got some sort of red stuff all over it that looked like the fruit was bleeding. And I'm not really into that. So um, I skipped that. Um, I thought I would grab something on the way home. And then I saw the Antique Mall of America. And of course I pulled in because I'm powerless. I did not buy anything. I did thank you. Um, I don't need anything. I don't need a lot of stuff anymore. I've got plenty of stuff to sell on eBay. Uh, and um, the only thing I really need for my house is a piece of furniture. I'm really tired of these Ikea cabinets I have. So I didn't find anything there. On the way home, I did pass by Goodwill. Well, I almost passed it, but I had to stop in. And you know that I have a problem, right? So I walked into Goodwill. I was almost able to walk out empty-handed. Almost. I looked up as I was walking out the door, and I saw this. 
Now, I'm going to do a little Goodwill haul video of things I have acquired since my last Goodwill haul video. Because uh, I think some things I got were kind of fun and interesting. But uh, this is something I'm going to show you because it has a fun little story to it. So, I got this little uh, jewelry box, which is, oddly enough, exactly the same color and almost exactly the same pattern as my kitchen counters, uh, kitchen cabinets which is very mid 80s. Uh, the 80s keep coming back over and over and over again. So eventually my uh, American oak cabinets will be cool again, right? Right, right. So, um, but I found this little jewelry box. Now, I don't have a lot of jewelry. I probably have four or five rings I wear. I have um, a couple earrings I wear with these every day. Uh, got some rings, not a lot, but I wanted a nice place to put it all. And here we are. So it was $7.99. I'm like, great, I'll buy it. It was originally by Lori Grenier. And I think I remember when this was on HSN, the lining is all anti-tarnish. So that is good and useful. Well, I got it home, I was taking the tape off and I opened it up and there were two bags of jewelry inside the jewelry box. It was taped up, I didn't put it in there. Um, and uh, it's not great jewelry. That's really not great jewelry. We all know I used to sell jewelry, right? Like nice jewelry. Uh, well, there was a, I think this is about a 16 inch uh, strand of coin pearls. Now, um, there, you can see they're little discs, like coin shapes. Um, yeah, so I don't know when these will come back. The 80s, like I said, keep coming back over and over again. The last time these were popular was probably the uh, 80s. But um, you can tell by the quality of the stretch bracelet uh, that came with um, that it's a very fancy thing. Uh, I will say the earrings, where's the other one, are actually cuter than the um, necklace and bracelet. They're actually kind of sweet. Um, but yes, I'll try to sell those on eBay. I don't think they're going to go for much. But the other bag has a label on it from JTV, which is jewelry television. So you can see by that, that the quality is. Uh, but inside was this fistful of pearls. It's a very long strand of pearls meant to be doubled. You could, uh, no, it's probably just meant to be doubled. Uh, you could, oh. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Eleanor. I do have you guys propped up on a cat tree. <laughs> that wasn't, hi, honey. You're good. You're good. Um, so, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But it's a strand of Baroque pearls, which are small uh, potato-shaped pearls. Can you see that at all? Uh, they're pretty. They're kind of blush and apricot and ivory. Um, they're not ugly. They're just not terribly um, high-end. Um, but I'll definitely get more than $8 for this strand alone. So I'm very excited about that. How cool is that? Um, yeah, so that's that. Hi, Eleanor. You're so sweet. Um, oh, lastly, before I go and get something to eat, lastly, I want to remind you guys, if you didn't already know, I'm doing a giveaway. Now, the giveaway is going to be for a Sabbath heat, which is kind of like a Hot Logic Mini, but better, in that it has a power core, it has a power button, a timer, a heat setting, so you can go from like, you know, zero to 60 for heat and temperature and stuff like that. Um, I am so hungry. Um, so I'm giving away a Sabbath heat uh, this year. I'm probably going to announce the give the, um, the the winner on the first on on January first. So to enter. If you've been with me for a while, you know what you have to do. You don't have to subscribe to my videos, although that would be nice. You don't have to follow me on Facebook because please don't. Um, I don't I don't respond, as some of you know, by my not seeing your messages. I don't respond to anything on Facebook. I am not one of those people who hits all social media. Um, I, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on, God help me, I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on Instagram. Not, I'm not not for years. So you can only really find me here. So um, what you have to do to win is to do something nice for somebody. Now that could be very easy or that could be very hard for some of you. It doesn't have to be monetary. So it could just be volunteering at a soup kitchen for a day. It could be um, visiting an elderly person and spending some time with them during the holiday season. Because 
a lot of people are lonely this time of year. Um, it could mean bringing some towels or blankets to a pet shelter. So it doesn't always have to be monetary. But if you have a little bit of extra cash floating around and you're thinking, gee, I would like to do something with this. I want to win that hot lot, that, um, that Sabbat heat. Um, maybe you can contribute something to the people of Ukraine during this time of year. I'm sure they could use a little bit of something. Um, there's just got to be someone or something in your life that could use a little help, a little attention, a little love. Uh, so make some kind of effort to be generous to somebody or a, uh, or a system that needs some help. Buying a teacher um, uh, some um, school supplies. I don't know. There's all sorts of ways. And you guys are very creative and very heartfelt, as you know. So leave a comment. This is not a time for humility. So leave a comment under one of my December videos for Vlogmas. Leave a comment. Let me know what you did. Let us know what you did because, you know, everybody on this channel reads the comment section. So leave a little note as to what you did and potentially maybe what you learned out of it. Um, I have always learned something from being generous towards other people. I, it's just been, it's a wonderful thing. It's probably one of the best parts of my life is when I can be generous with love, spirit, kindness, whatever it is. Blah, blah, blah. Clearly, I told you I'm hungry. So let me stop blathering on. You got the point, right? Okay, so I'm going to let you go. I'm going to make something to eat. I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy Vlogmas and um, fly safe.